Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to play solitaire using Hong Kong old style scoring. This is really great practice for decision making during the pick and discard phase of the game. So if you are new to the game and you have a set at home, give solitaire a try. I have all my tiles out behind these risers and they've been mixed. I'm going to put the first hand east. This will be east hand. Then I'll have south, west, and north. I'm going to use this to help me mark whose turn it is. Otherwise, I'll get confused and it'll ruin the game. The other thing I have to mention, you have to be able to compartmentalize your decision making. Play one hand at a time and put on blinders for the other hands. Otherwise, it will skew the outcome. So let's get our tiles. We get 14 random tiles for east. There they are, 14 tiles for East. Now I'm gonna get 13 for the other three players. Okay, we have all our tiles out. I like to set them up like this with these little gaps so that I don't have to count every one of them. If you, if you set it up for one and then just repeat it, that way you're not counting. So you need 14 for East, so four on each side, six in the middle, and then 13 for the other three players, four on each side, five in the middle. And if you set it up this way, it's a good sanity check because if any player doesn't have enough tiles, the game is ruined. All right, we're going to start with East. And we're gonna say we need a two fawn minimum. Two fawn, no flowers. That's a fawn right there. So for East, we do have two pair here. Three, Okay, one, two, three, three pair. They could play all chows and no flowers. They have a potential chow. This is two potential chows, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine, one, two. Here's a pair and here's a chow. Let's just go for the quickest win possible. Let's do all chows, no flowers. The minute they draw a flower though, they're in trouble if it's not there. So let's see what happens. They have way too many discards to go for a half flush. Look at all these, because they have an even number of cracks and bams. So all chow or all pung. If they get one more pair, they might be able to swing all pung because they do have one, two, three pair, but they're gonna need to draw two more pair to really make that work. Any pair is a potential pung. Let's look at South. Ooh, they have their own flower. Number two, we'll get a replacement. Okay, now they are in mixed suits as well. They have their own flower though, so they have a fawn already. If they play a half, uh, I'm sorry, if they play all chow with their flower, that's too fawn. These are isolated potential chow. There's a chow or two potential chows. Here's a pair. These are isolated. We have one, two, three sets and a pair. So basically these would need to be remedied. These are all isolated, so we would need to draw in some kind of a chow connection there. So we have potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, and a pair. We'll see what happens there. I'm thinking all chow and their seat flower. For West, they have a flower, but it's not theirs. It's seat two's flower, but we still get a replacement tile. Okay, so they have a major suit in dots. 
So they're four away from being cleared to one suit with honors. I think we should let them play a half flush. They only have four discards to get to a half flush. A half flush is one suit with honors. Honors are wins and dragons. That's a good, a good start right there. Okay, if you can get to four discards with your decision, that's a strong start. So here we have four discards for a half flush, four discards for a, actually, we really have five discards for all chow. And over here, we're kind of about the same. So this is the strongest hand right here at the moment. So let's see what this next one is. Okay, they have two honors. Looks like it's going to be Chow's two here, unless they've got significant pairs, which I don't see at the moment. They have a mixture, but they do have mostly bands. It's not very strong though. I would start discarding probably the ones these are all isolated. Boy, they're gonna have a rough time. All right, let's just get started. We're gonna go ahead and discard for East, and we're playing all Chows, so we're gonna discard a Green Dragon. And then we're gonna have South draw. They got a seven BAM. If they're playing all Chows, that's a good tile, because now they have a potential Chow. They're set. They have their pair here, Chow, 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 all potentials, and then a pair. So these can all now be discarded. Let's throw the east. Okay, let's draw for west. They drew a north. That's going to help them get to a half flush. Let's go ahead and discard the five crack. So that was south or west discarding a five crack. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw for north. They got a one dot. There's a good pair tile. Let's get rid of the green. It's already been discarded. And we're going to draw for east. They drew a white dragon. Not helpful for a chow hand. We're going to throw it a red. And now let's use this marker so I don't get lost. So it's south's turn. They drew a south. That's not going to be helpful because they're playing all chows. We're going to throw the south. Drawing now for west. Nobody can take that south. Six crack. That's a discard. Drawing for north. Two bam. That might help get to a chow. Two, four, four, five, seven, eight. Those are all potential chows. These are all isolated. This can be their pair tile. Let's go ahead and get rid of the one crack and draw for east. Now east has one, two, three pair. They have three pair and they have a chow right here, two, three, four, and two potential chows and another chow here. If they call that one crack for a pung, they could do two more pungs, but they would have to pair up. I think they're better off to try for that all chows. They're set for that, so I think we should draw for them. They got an eight bam. Eight bam, let's get discard the white dragon and draw four south. They got a four dot, okay, that's a good potential chow. As many options as possible. Can't use all of these though. Definitely. We can go ahead and get rid of probably this two BAM though. And let's draw for West. West is playing a half flush with dots. So even though they have a one three, they could technically chow that, that two BAM, but they're trying for dots. So we're going to draw. They got a three BAM. We'll just hold it and discard the one BAM. Let's draw for North. They got a West. They're going to try maybe for, oh, they're in a bad place, really. 
we could hold that and maybe do a half flush since they picked up a bam. Let's throw the six dot, Let's see what happens. And we'll draw four east. Okay, they got a nine dot. If we're playing all chows, we're in between five, six, seven, and seven, eight, nine. Here's a seven, let's see, seven, eight, nine. We need a nine bam for two chows here. Let's get rid of the five dot. I don't know. Okay, five dot. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw four south. One dot. Okay. Either way, if we keep it, they need a three dot. Let's get rid of the one dot. And we'll draw four west. Now, north has a one dot, but they have only two pair. If they pung that one dot, and I think that will weaken their hand. I think we're, we're better off to go with all chows. So let's draw four west. Seven crack, that's a discard. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw four north. Okay, there's a nine crack. That's good, because that can help with this potential chow. Let's get rid of the nine dot, and then we can draw four north uh, east. There's a green, it's already been thrown, so we'll discard and draw four south. They got a six bam. I think they need, let's see here, they could do potential chow here, potential chow, there's a chow, there's a potential chow. Let's get rid of the five crack. Everything else is a good potential chow for them. Let's draw four west. They got a four flower. That won't bring them score, but it takes the ability to score from north. So let's take a replacement tile, two crack, that's a discard. Nobody can take a two crack, so we're gonna draw for north. Green dragon, there's already two out. Now, or no, there were three out, now there's four. We're gonna draw for east. Nine crack, that's a discard. Okay, now this player here, they can chow. Let's have them chow. Seven, eight. There's a seven, eight, nine. So they have one chow. Here's a chow. This is a potential chow. Here's a, here's a potential chow. Here's a pair, pair. Let's see here. One, two, yeah, we're really in between. Let's keep all the chow potentials and give up the four dot and draw four west. Even though they have lots of dots, they can't take that four, uh, four dot. They've already got the four five. Really, they need a two or a six. We got a north, that's good, because we just got a pair. Let's go ahead and give up the six bam. And here, this player has a six bam, but they're going for chows. So I would not be, be tempted to pung that. We're focused on chows here. So we're gonna draw four north. Now north can take that six bam for a chow right here. If we were to take that six bam for a chow, they would be committing to bams and honors and chows. They would have five discards. If they went with all chow in mixed suits, they would have two discards. Let's go ahead and take it. We'll chow. So we're gonna chow, five, six, seven. Actually, let's chow Let's chow four, five, six. That way it'll leave the seven for another chow there and the four for a chow there. So we'll do four, five, six. And then let's throw away the five. Nope, we're gonna keep that and throw away the west. Let's draw four east. Three crack. Okay, now they have another pair. They could switch to all pung at this point if they want. Here's one, two, there's a pung right there, potential pung there. Let's switch them to all pung. Let's go ahead and discard the seven dot. Nobody can take a seven dot. Actually, this player can right here, chow. Let's chow for south. Seven dot, so now they have a chow. 
and we can discard they need a pair here's their pair here's a chow um, let's throw the eight dot this can still be a chow and this could be a discard leaving them with a two dot or a six bam for a pair tile okay so we threw the eight dot we're up here now Nobody can take an eight dot, so we're going to draw four west. They got a north, so they have a pung of north. Let's throw the three bam. Mm, this player north, it's north's turn, and they can actually chow. So we're going to chow that right there. And we'll discard the white dragon. Let's see, they still need to get two more chows so we're going to draw for east they drew a nine bam okay now east does not have any any uh exposures yet and they have seven eight nine seven eight nine one two three so they have one two three sets they don't have a pair yet so Here's a potential chow, and then they would need to get a, a pair in here. As another option, though, they could, so see, that would be three discards. If we did all pung, they would be ready to pung all these tiles here. I think we should stick with all pung. So they have four discards for all pung, which is a bigger scoring hand, by the way. So there we go. Okay, so one, two, three, four pair. Those are all potential pungs. Let's go ahead and get rid of the nine dot. Nobody can take the nine dot, so we're going to draw four south. They drew a west. That's a discard. Nobody wants that. There's already two out, so we're going to draw four west. They drew a five bam. Let's go ahead and throw the three bam. Nobody can take a three bam, so we're going to draw four north. They got a south, that's a discard south. We'll draw four east. They drew an east, they're playing all chow, that's not going to help them. So we're going to throw that and draw for south. They got a six dot, that's not going to help. Let's see here, No, there's a four, five, six bam out. Seven, eight, nine, I think... Um, we need a pair still. Let's hold on to that six bam. Let's throw the six dot and then draw four west. Now west can take that six dot. So here we have a seven, eight, a seven, eight. Here's a five, seven. Let's go ahead and chow it for five, six, seven. This leaves a two-sided weight, which gives them two tiles for options. So let's chow this set right here, five, six, seven. That's for West. Okay, and then we'll discard. I think there's two Wests out. Let's discard. Let's get them to a half flesh and discard the five bam. And now we're going to draw four North. Ooh, eight crack. That's kind of nice, I guess. They're kind of in between here. Let's discard the five crack. That's not helping them at all. And we'll draw four east they got a four flower that hurt them because that is not their flower and they were holding on to no flowers for their fawn they're now half they have to play all pung which is three fawn so we're going to take a replacement tile and then we'll discard so at this point all pung right here they're ready to go let's throw the three dot and draw for south. They got a three crack. So if they have a pair here, here's two potential chows. Let's throw the two dot and draw for west. Oh, they got a Kong of north. Let's go ahead and expose that Kong and take a replacement tile. Anytime you get a Kong, you take a replacement tile. They just got their own flower. So we're gonna expose that and get a replacement. They got a six crack, that's a discard. 
six crack, we're gonna now draw four north. 9 bam. So they're going for, right now they have two chows and bams. And they just got, look at all these pairs, but they're already committed to chows. They need, they need to get chows. This could be their pair, potential chow, potential chow. They need two more chows. So let's throw the eight crack. They're committed already. They have no flowers, so that's their other fawn right now. All right, so we just threw a, what did we throw here? Eight crack. It's east turn. Four dot, that's a discard. Nobody can take a four dot, so we're gonna draw four south. Red dragon, that's a discard. Drawing four west. They got a five dot. Okay, that's gonna help them because now they have a potential chow here, here. Let's get rid of the west. Those are all out now, and we'll draw for north. They got a nine crack. They keep getting pairs. That's not gonna help them. Nine crack. They need chows. We're gonna draw for east. They drew a two dot. That's a discard, and we'll draw for south. Two dot, discard, west. 3 bam, that's been thrown. Let's go ahead and discard though the east. I mean, not the east. Let me put that back. Let's go ahead and draw or throw the 3 bam and draw 4 north. Okay, they got an 8 crack, another pair tile. They need chows. 8 crack. We're drawing for east now. Discard 6 dot. Nobody can take a 6 dot, so we'll draw 4 south. White dragon, discard. Drawing four west. Three bam, discard. Drawing for north. Seven dot. Let's just get rid of the nine bam and draw four east. Pung. East has their first pung out. They have a pung here. They need to pung these tiles here. Let's discard the two crack and draw for south. South is playing all chows. We can chow that right here. Three, four, two, three, four. So they have the second chow out. Remember, they have their own flower, so that's a fawn. And we're gonna discard the seven bam because that will make them ready on a one crack or a four crack. Seven bam. And we're gonna have east pung it right here, Pung. So now they have a Pung of seven bam. And we are going to discard four crack. They're ready on a one crack or a three crack, but south just won four crack. They just won on a chow hand. So here's their winning hand. Flower, pear, chow. Chow, chow, chow. So their fawn is one fawn for all chows, one fawn for their flowers. So they have two fawn. And that's the minimum. So they got it, south one. It's really great practice, I think. Let me know what you think about it. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and then come back and let me know your results. It's kind of hard to keep track of whose turn it is. Just use some kind of a marker to help you remember and that should keep you on track. It's a really great way to just spend some quiet time, exercise your brain a little bit and Hong Kong style is really the best one to start with if you don't know how to play yet there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist and a player reference that can help you learn how to score give me a thumbs up if you liked this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet click subscribe and then click that bell so you get notification for when i post new videos that way you won't miss out on any solitaire videos or random polls that may give you some strategy ideas and maybe some insights into the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.